Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with a Microsoft Word document and you get a little pop up box that says Word cannot complete the save due to a file permission error, and then it'll be followed by a file path. So, pretty straightforward process on how to go about resolving this issue. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, first thing I recommend doing, if you have this file perhaps saved somewhere on the desktop, maybe it was from an online internet source that you acquired this Word document, let me just go ahead and actually just save the document to the desktop here. It appears I might have saved it into the Documents folder. Nope, it says it's saved on the desktop. Let me try, I was going to refresh the desktop so you can see it right here. One thing you can try doing would be to right click on the document, so you just would open up wherever it's currently being saved. And then you would select the properties. The general tab, there'd be an option underneath attributes here that might say that the file came from another computer. It might be blocked to help protect this computer. You would just select the unblock button. So that's one quick way. And generally speaking, if you're downloading it from an external source or third party website, that would probably jump right into this method first. However, if you are using a locally created file that you either created yourself or maybe you had on a Dropbox that you have shared between multiple devices, you probably don't want to start with that necessarily. So in that case, you just go ahead and open up Word. Just don't have to open up the document itself, but you just want to open up Microsoft Word in general and select the File tab up in the top left. Go down on the left panel and select Options. On the left side, you want to select Add-ins. And now on the right side, you want to go ahead and select the underneath where it says Manage and then click on the drop down. Make sure you select Word Add-ins and then select Go. If you notice any add-ins in here, I would consider disabling or removing them entirely and then see if that is able to resolve the problem. It's certainly a potential cause that you might have a compatibility issue with an add-in that is installed in Microsoft Word. And finally, one other thing we can try here is actually to repair the Microsoft Office installation. So this won't remove or delete Microsoft Office. It's just going to repair it. So in order to do that, go ahead and open up the search menu. Type in apps, best match. You'll come back with apps and features. Go ahead and open that up. And now on this page in the apps list field, go ahead and search for Office. Best match, or one of the best matches. You'll come back with Microsoft Office. And then your version will vary, of course, depending on which one you have installed. Select the three-dotted icon next to it, and then you want to select the Modify button. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And it's going to ask, how would you like to repair your Office programs? We're going to select Quick Repair. Fixes most issues quickly without the need for an internet connection. Select Repair, and then select Repair again. But before you do that, just make sure you've closed out of any open Office applications and you've saved them. And then go ahead and proceed to Select Repair and give this a couple minutes to run here. Depending on your system hardware, it may take a little longer or shorter duration. Okay, so it says we finished repairing your Office programs and features. You can now close this window and use your programs. Go ahead and close out of here and see if that has resolved the problem. If you're still having an issue, you can try to do an online repair. So then in that case, you would select the three-dot icon again, so you come back into the apps and the features list. Select the icon and then select Modify. Again, select Yes, and this time you would select Online Repair. It fixes all issues but takes a little longer and requires an internet connection throughout. You can select this option if you are still having problems after a quick repair, and then select Repair here. So, ready to start an online repair. We'll download files to repair your installation. This may take some time and requires an internet connection. If you're on a metered connection, this may charge extra. Please keep this in mind when getting online content. Go ahead and select Repair here.
Okay, so you can see the little pop-up here. It says that it looks like it is concluded. I would suggest if you had to do an online repair, I would look into actually restarting your computer. So just make sure you close it out of any applications or programs you may have had in the background. And I would go ahead and actually restart your computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.